people are killed in these kind of incidents. It is an act of Your terrorism. Your time is expired. A special agent in charge found that you were involved. You lied to this committee in saying that you were never investigated. Senator Hawley. You were never Hawley. the target of investigation. In fact, you were. Your time You lied to us blatantly. Expired. And you know it. Uh, Director Sean Manning, let me just start with this. When you came before this committee in 2021, this is before I was a member of the committee, you were asked as part of your confirmation whether you'd ever been investigated, arrested, charged by any federal, state, or local law enforcement authority for the violation of any federal, state, or local law, regulation, or ordinance other than a minor traffic offense. We asked that question of all people before the committee. You answered no. Do you stand by that testimony? Uh, Senator, I do stand by that testimony and was proud to be confirmed to do this job. What's tree spiking, Director? Uh, uh, Senator, again, um, this committee uh, uh, engaged quite a bit. In no, this that's a factual question. Do you know what it is? And I do. It is. You want when, to tell us? Go ahead. Yeah, it's when people illegally put uh, metal objects into trees so that they um, prevent a timber sale. What happens if a, if a chainsaw hits a spike? Uh, uh, sometimes when a chainsaw hits a spike, it can buck the saw. Yeah, violently recoil, potentially kill or seriously maim the loggers. Yeah, which is why I uh, notified the federal authorities that I had heard that that happened. Loggers like, for instance, uh, George Alexander, this is from an article in the Washington Post explaining what happens when s trees get spiked. Loggers who are, who are blue-collar workers, by the way, these are not wealthy people, these are not people who have had the advantages perhaps you and others have had. People like George Alexander, who, for example, in, in May 1987, at age 23, his chainsaw hit a tree spike. I'm quoting, his face was slashed from eye to chin, his teeth were smashed, his jaw was cut in half. That's a typical, typical reaction when a logger hits a spike. Now, you just said, I think just a second ago, that, that you were involved. There were two people convicted in 1989 of putting 500 pounds of spikes in an Idaho forest. Senator Rich mentioned this just a moment ago. You testified you sent a letter to the Forest Service on their behalf. I have it here. The letter says, among other things, this letter sent to notify you that the post office sale, that's the forest sale in Idaho, has been spiked heavily. The reason for this, sec for this action is that this piece of land is very special to the earth. It is home to the elk, deer, mountain lions, birds, and especially the trees. It goes on, I would be more than willing to pay you a dollar for the sale, but you'd have to find me first, and that could be your worst nightmare. P.S., you bastards go in there anyway, and a lot of people could get hurt. Why'd you send this? Uh, Senator, as I said at the time, over 30 years ago, a really um, uh, angry and uh, turns out violent person handed me that letter uh, and said, will you send this to the Forest Service? And you did, I, why? I uh, you, what you just uh, talked about in 1987 to a logger, this is 1988, nine. nine. Uh, I understood that people could get hurt. I why was, didn't you notify the federal authorities? Was, why, why, why did you send this threatening letter on behalf of these two men who were convicted of I, crimes? I was terrified of them uh, and, uh, and wanted no involvement with them. Well, so you wanted no involvement, but you sent a letter that says you bastards go in there anyway and a lot of people could get hurt? Why, why didn't you just contact the FBI or any, anybody, any local authority? Uh, because, the, uh, because the person who did this act threatened people's lives if they disclosed who did it. Yeah, in fact, you were investigated for being involved, weren't you? Here we have the, a letter sent to this committee from the special agent of the USDA Forest Service, Michael Merkley, who was in charge of the investigation. He says, and he de details this in the letter to this committee, that he investigated you for your involvement. He says, and I'm going to quote now, grand jury sub subpoenas were issued for hair samples, handwriting exemplars, fingerprints. These subpoenas were served on persons suspected of being involved, having knowledge of the incident, including Ms. Tracy Stone Manning. You've testified you were never investigated ever for anything. Why'd you lie to this committee? Uh, Senator... Um, this committee uh, delved deeply, uh, went into the court records where I testified against these men. Were you issued subpoenas? No. You were uh, not issued well, subpoenas? I, I was issued a subpoena to appear before a grand jury. With, really? Uh, with because here's what people. he says. 
Ms. Stone Manning was extremely difficult to work with. She was antagonistic. She was uncooperative, refused to provide her hair, handwriting, exemplars, and fingerprints as ordered by the grand jury. It was not until after we informed her she would be arrested if she did not comply with the subpoenas that she provided the samples to me. So you were Senator subpoenaed. Senator Hawley, you your were time the target of an investigation. Do you have a question? You were the target of an investigation. You lied to this committee. Why? Senator, I never received a target letter. I'm curious, um, I, I understand why uh, this committee jumped over 30 years of my career um, in considering my nomination and went to a salacious moment from graduate school where I, where I tried to protect people. What I don't understand is why we're not looking at the last three and a half years now. Um, here's why, Senator it's because Hall. people are killed in these kind of incidents. It is an act of Your terrorism. Your time is expired. A special agent in charge found that you were involved. You lied to this committee in saying that you were never investigated. Senator you were never Hawley. the target of investigation. In fact, you were. Your time you lied to us is blatantly, expired. and you know it.